Hello everyone, myself Vinod Kumar Reddy Hevatam. Today I'm going to talk about Synapse Lakehouse Architecture. Till now we have heard about Databricks Lakehouse Architecture, but recently um, I have worked on a project wherein I have built the complete Lakehouse Architecture and a framework in the Synapse rather than using the Databricks. <clears throat> As you all know, Synapse is now having um, the notebooks wherein you can write the PySpark code, uh, you have a Synapse on demand pool, you have a Synapse serverless pool, and you have a Synapse dedicated pool, and also you have a Synapse Delta Lake. So, Delta Lake, uh, let's talk a bit about the Delta Lake, right? What is Delta Lake? A Delta Lake is a file format like Parquet or WRC kind of a thing but it supports uh, all the ASIC properties. So you can write SQL on a Delta Lake file to access the data. So it is just like a big data storage with data warehouse capabilities. So you can uh, fetch the data using the version control in the Delta Lake, and it is suitable for both batch and streaming data, and you can enforce the schema, and schema evolution is also possible in the Delta Lake. So Basically, the data in the Delta Lake is stored in the Parquet format, but it will be uh, using the Delta log, wherein it will be logging um, all the uh, like uh, dividing the uh, like all the data is stored in the columnar format. So, in the Delta log, you can view for each column what is the minimum, what is the maximum in which for in which portion the data is stored and all those stuff. So that will be stored in the delta log. So it will have a header, footer, and then the data related information. So that's how uh, delta lake is being used. The main advantage is, you, as you are using a data lake itself as a storage, but since it is supporting the data warehouse capabilities, it is data lake plus data warehouse makes the delta lake, delta lake house. So let's say i have um, used this architecture that is represented below basically i have uh, multiple different source system i have a database i have a crm um, uh, whatever right so these are the source system so i'll be creating uh, i'll be using the synapse notebooks basically i am using especially PySpark code i will create one more video and walk through of the code uh, just uh, to make people understand how it works so uh, in this video i'll be giving you the overview of how i have created the things so you will have a good understanding of it so i will be using the synapse uh, notebooks um, especially PySpark code for creating the lake house so i'll be creating different databases like branch silver and the code so all in the back end all of them will be stored in the data lake and it has a folder structure but in the front, it will be shown in the Synapse suit as a database itself. So what, let's understand a bit about a branch, silver and gold. So what is a branch? A branch is like a staging table stored in the Delta Lake format. So a staging table is, it is exact repli replica of the source file and will not be doing any transformation in the branch. So as you know, in a synapse mpp we will be using elt framework wherein you will extract load and then the transform so in the silver what we will be doing is we will be uh, creating the transformation we will be creating the facts and dimensions the transformations the dml operations and data cleansing removal of duplicates heading trailing spaces uh, creating the relationship all those things can be done in the silver and in the gold you will be creating a, a kind of a dal layer where in data access layer where you will be creating the aggregated tables and uh, you can you will be creating uh, uh, like uh, the tables wherein end user can just plug and play that's how we will be using the gold normally people can use synapse warehouse dedicated pool for creating the gold layer as well but to uh, it will be understanding or when to use the synapse warehouse and when to use uh, uh, like <coughs> delta lake for that format so now 
let's say we'll be using delta lake in this particular case so we have created aggregated tables we'll, we have created fact tables and dimension tables in the silver and bronzes stage so uh, to uh, in sometimes what we do is we'll have a replica over here we'll be creating upset over here by finding out the uh, keys uh, for the upset and we'll be creating the aggregated packs and dimensions and all those tables here that is also possible you can customize a bit however you want so i hope you understand till here so after the gold so uh, basically in the case of uh, if at all if people wants to do the advantage of using synapse for creating the lake house is this so uh, uh, in the case of delta lake that is created in the data bricks you will you don't uh, get a chance to use a ssms or any tool to connect to the delta lake to create uh, procedures or to create anything else okay so in the case of uh, synapse lake house what you can do is what i have done is and uh, creating the uh, architecture of the solution i have used the on demand pool and in the synapse on demand pool microsoft allowed people to create external tables on the delta delta format as well so what i have done is i have created a on demand pool database i have used the delta format for creating the external tables and i have exposed those tables for the end users using the on demand pool so end users it will be created under the external tables in the uh, if you see the ssms i shall uh, show you in the next video about that and you can easily access them that's how it works and so now uh, the life made easy people can easily uh, access so if at all if, if it is available in the ssms so people can easily connect from the power bi or any other reporting tool to connecting to synapse on demand pool so how is how this is helpful right so here what we are doing we are able to achieve the warehouse things using the data lake itself okay but the format that we used is the delta so in the in that perspective we'll be still uh, we'll be saving lot of cost we'll be using the spark cluster to process the data there will be some amount of money that you will have to pay over there but it will save lots and lots of money okay and using the on-demand pool if at all if uh, like uh, if you are using a less uh, if you have less unleashed and people wanted to are willing to do unless is only if required then on demand pools are the best otherwise you have to keep the data warehouse units up all the time and you have to pay the money a lot of money for that so sql on demand pool plays a very important role to save the cost in that case so what here i have just explained like we'll be using we'll use synapse notebooks for creating and loading data in bronze and silver dbs we can use so what i have done till here i have used the five spark code to load into a branch and silver and then i have used spark sql for loading the data into the gold layer okay what i'm doing is i'm exposing this spark uh, this gold layer into the on demand pool by creating the external tables wherein people can use the ssms to access the tables and and, and they can also use a power bi for that okay once the data is loaded into gold layer we can use on demand pool to create the external table so that unless is unless can access it and you can access on demand pool in power bi as well so basically um, there are a lot of uh, uh, ways that you can create um, you can do the things so there in synapse but i have done this um, keeping uh, uh, like reducing the cost earlier the solution was developed in the adf which was taking a uh, bit more uh, like i uh, had to pay a lot of money uh, for the azure sql and the adf but uh, by doing this by coming up with this framework and the architecture uh, it it helped us to optimize uh, the cost and helps us to uh, do the things faster 
right how uh, do you say that things are getting done in a faster manner so uh, adf um, for the transformation and all it is taking a bit of more time since spark is a massive parallel processing engine um, again distributed processing engine so we are using spark which actually uh, works better in processing the data and loading and we are using uh, um, delta format which is again a good format and it is actually faster so we are uh, and uh, that's how and we are using the on demand pool basically to access the tables in the ssms which actually reduces lots and lots of cost so as we all are aware uh, like nine hours of working and a few hours of uh, loading the data so uh, for 12 hours the server will be idle and you'll still be paying the money Uh, if you are using a dedicated pool, but if you are using on-demand pool, you will be only paying the money when you are trying to access. Other times, the data will be uh, downloaded, processed, and kept. Everything in the in the data lake, and we will be using a Spark cluster. And for accessing, we will be using the on-demand pool. Hope uh, this will help uh, for everyone to. Uh, understand if they want to redesign their things um, you can consider this uh, but you may not expect the similar kind of performance that will be given uh, by the azure sql rs and apps dedicated pools that is for sure but it this is um, again solutionizing this way will also help people uh, to overcome the cost that they are uh, going through additional money that they are trying to spend over here okay you can reach out to me um, if anybody wants any new uh, like this kind of architecture to be set up for them you can reach out to me and i'll be happy to help thank you guys bye bye